others there where you can go and ask them how much they'd be willing to sell it or be willing to buy the book from you for. And they can look up how much it's worth on their system. Um, and then be going to say you don't want to sell it. So if you go and they're like, oh, I'll give you $40 for it. You're like, yeah, say it's worth more than 40 You don't have to sell it. And you can be like, when you looked up stuff, did you find out? Like, is this worth a whole lot? Or is you know, not worth a whole lot? They'd be really helpful. Mm-hmm. And that's the only date on there. Those are all of your dates. Oh, yeah. First I hear about how it, there's fires happening on the eastern central areas of Washington. Next I hear about how there's storms on the west coast coming in and bringing in 35 mile an hour winds. But I haven't seen any of it really. I've heard reports of power outages and, and trees crashing into homes on Westport. But I haven't seen anything. Oh, well, uh, there are a couple of branches down. That could be some cause for concern. Lindsay Baum is missing still. And I reported on that yesterday. There's three signs within viewing distance of each other just around here. It's amazing how much advertising there is. You think she's the only missing person. I actually emailed their website to see what kind of response I could get. I was curious more details like where did she walk from? I'd like to recreate the scene. The VFW? Okay, yeah, this factory's all fenced off. There's no excess inside. Just hoping to get a closer look at that system of pipes network that they have. Oh well. It's a unique type of business out here. I see sawdust, so they must do some kind of work with trees. guy inside that security building. Simpsons Simpson Lumber? I'm not sure what kind of business it is exactly. There's a sign on the street to read. Maybe I can check it on the way back. They got some tight security. This bank doesn't like trespassers, loiterers, skateboarders, or rollerbladers. Rollerblade. Who rollerblades these days? I haven't seen a rollerblader in years. It was a fad in the 90s. Some people just don't keep up with the, uh, the pop culture. I believe this house to be abandoned. The grass is growing up. It just looks like there's inactivity. Even though they got these jet skis. That doesn't really say much. Look at all that poop. Ugh. And what's going on here? What's that say? One of those... Oh, poop? I bet birds are living in that light. $250 off. 
Bring in the home dream. Huh. Bringing home the dream. Exteriors. Oh, I see. They're selling exterior because this looks so trashy. But I don't, yeah, there's nobody here to, to pick that up. Oh, somebody has been picking the apples in the, the grasses mode. Strange. Seems abandoned to me, but maybe I could be wrong. So how does the neighborhood look? It really, it doesn't really stand out or anything. It's just kind of a common looking neighborhood to me. It's on the outskirts of the town, which it's not, not too far on the outskirts. It's just like the last road before you hit country road. If that house burnt down. <clears throat> End of the sidewalk, and then it starts up again up ahead. Those are always entertaining. You wonder what happened with this house property owner. Put up a fight or something. I bet that's a trail that goes into the woods. Huh. I'll look on the map later. It's pretty common stuff. Well, it looks like no more walking around aimlessly for a while. It's not going to stop tomorrow. It's not going to stop raining tomorrow. It's going to rain all night tonight. Pretty much locked down in my car. And at least I got plenty of stuff to read. I thought I heard goats out here too, but... You can see several shelters. They're probably just being quiet right now. Oh, is that a softball park? Huh. They got these chickens here that look kind of cute. And tasty, of course. Oh, there's the goat. Okay. Oh, they're running over here thinking I'm going to feed them. Yeah, they're pretty friendly. What is it, guys? You think I got food? Does that look like food? Not quite. Sorry. <laughs> that goat is uh, in a small cage. I don't, doesn't have much room to run around. I hope they tend to them frequently. Alright, so just more uh, different parts of the neighborhood. It doesn't, it does not say that it's a dead end up here, so I expect the road to just continue. Or at least it didn't say it might, the intersection I turned at. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, it looks like a cul-de-sac dead end on the top of this hill. Just driveways from here. It's a good little exercise. Huh, I just put a tarp over the patio. <laughs> I guess that works. <clears throat> so apparently, there's a museum. As you can see by the reading, but I don't, I don't see it from over here. I'll have to look on the map and see what the map says. It's right across the street from the bus station. <coughs> Little dog watching me. Got a lot of flare up here. What are those cucumbers? Ready to pick? What a waste of a good pear tree. They're all on the ground. They're all hard as rocks though too. You gotta go through some processing with them. Keep out private property. Electrical work permits. Oh, okay. Huh. Weird. Back roads are usually fun. I think this is a chicken coop. What a trash heap. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this house is abandoned. Huh. Strange. It's almost back at the library now. It's 
not a big town. Okay, so the library is across the street from this. It's an automotive center, but I think the people live here too. It's a town, so they probably have really relaxed rules. Yeah, cans of oil with a frying pan on top. <laughs> and it's a really old lady who lives at this place. <laughs> 